And of course, this is your election command center in politics this evening. The Opposition National Democratic Congress says the outcome of the NPP party's parliamentary primaries is an indication that the ruling government will lose the December 7 general elections, having failed to deliver on its campaign promises. At a news conference in Accra, communications officer Sami Jemfi said the 40 MPs who lost their re-election bid is a clear assessment of President Akufuado's stewardship. The entire primaries was conducted in an environment where those who could afford the biggest pecuniary or monetary inducements carried the day. Huge amounts of money, I repeat, huge amounts of money, in some cases 6,000 Ghana cities per delegate, 5,000 Ghana cities per delegate, 4,000 Ghana cities per delegate, and so on, exchange hands in full glare, in the full glare of the media. How a party, which few years ago was begging for money from kayais and street hawkers, how a party, which few years ago taught the world with a cup in hand begging for money, can afford this level of opulence and ostentation three and a half years into coming into office, after coming into office, sorry speaks volumes of the endemic corruption and thievery that has engulfed the Akufuado government. The verdict the NDC has given on the ruling party's parliamentary primaries. There were several hiccups during the primaries and the opposition party will not spare them. Another disturbing feature of the MPP's parliamentary, primary, parliamentary primaries was violence which took center stage throughout the country. Some contestants unleashed hoodlums belonging to the numerous vigilante groups affiliated to the MPP against their openness. And these hoodlums and hooligans, you know, belong to groups, like I've said, which were formed under the leadership of President Ekufuado. Now his MPP supporters themselves are rating those in parliamentary leadership who are working closely with him very poorly. They have passed a vote of no confidence in them. They have voted for change. And it is very clear that even MPP members and supporters are not happy with the performance of President Ekufuadu and his government. The primaries held on Saturday, June 20, 2020, saw 40 MPs lose their re-election bid. Recently, the NDC scored the ruling party 14% in the delivery of promises it made ahead of the 2016 general elections. While throwing a jab at the MPP, the NDC says it is resolute. President Mahama has committed to provide free technical and vocational education from the second cycle to the tertiary level to build the human resource base of the nation for industrial development, entrepreneurship, and job creation. Even before that, the flag bearer and leader of the NDC will in the coming days announce some big ticket policies which are central to his transformational vision for this country. This announcement will include a major and comprehensive job creation policy he intends to undertake to create millions of permanent and dignifying jobs. Let me repeat, millions of permanent, not ad hoc, not the NABCO type of jobs, but permanent and dignifying jobs for the teeming unemployed youth when he assumes the reins of power in 2021. 